Hello friends, thanks for stopping by. Hope you all are having a great day. Today I have a haul for you and I was actually hoping that the mailman, uh, I was hoping that he made it here before I, ha I was, had time to do this video and so far he has not because I know uh, I went on and ordered uh, quite a few Milani items from their actual site. Uh, after I did my drugstore get ready with me, many of you wanted my opinion, and thank you for your very kind words. You know what you wrote. Um, many of you wanted to know what I thought of the palettes, and I had never seen the big palettes that they have, so I ordered them, and they're coming. So for those of you who wanted to know what I thought of them, uh, Stay tuned, those will be coming. But for today, I just have a haul that is, um, it's a mix of things. Mostly, I have a video planned in my head, and some of these are for that video. Um, and um, that's really all I'm going to say about that, and just share with you some other things that I picked up. All right, so let's get started. You all know, if you've been watching me for a long time, I have awful feet. I can pedicure them weekly, I can massage, moisturize them nightly, I can put Vaseline on, wear socks, I can do everything. My feet are still gross. They crack, they bleed, especially in the winter. Now, by taking the collagen peptide that I take by Vital Proteins, that has helped me, but it's still not a cure for my feet. There's some things in life we are just dealt that we can do nothing about. We can make them look okay, but we can't cure them. And I can't cure my feet because believe me, if I could, I'd be a foot model. I would. <laughs> anyway, um, I've used these in the past and I have found them at TJ Maxx from time to time. These I actually got off of Amazon and they're those moisturizing socks. Believe it or not, these do work. So I go through these and you get, you get probably, you get a, um, uh, maybe a month's wear out of each pair, but um, I don't, I haven't tried this pair to see if they're as good as the Bliss because I've ordered the Bliss in the past. I think it's by Bliss. And I think I've used uh, the, the brand that's carried at Ulta. So I thought I would go ahead and try this because how different can they really be? And these are the Belle Shaw Spa Moisturizing Gel Socks, okay? And these are new to Amazon. So I'm going to give these a try and let you know what I think. Um, they're not the most comfortable things to walk in, uh, but I usually put them on and just, you know, walk as little as possible. So th th this, this is when you're relaxing, but if you can, if you're somebody who can wear them all day long, well then go right ahead. For me, that's not possible. All right, and I also bought the, now I found these at Marshall's and they were $4.99. And these are the gloves because I also have very dry hands. So this is the same thing, but in a, gel, uh, a glove form for the hands. And I, I've been dying to try them, but I wanted to um, show them to you beforehand. So make sure you check out your Marshalls and your TJ Maxx for stuff like this, because at $4.99, these were much more expensive if you buy them in you know the department stores. All right, so then I was in Target, and I saw these and I thought, ooh, this is new because I've used their shower gel before and I did like it, but I've never seen this and I'm all about sugar scrubs. I absolutely love sugar scrubs. And this is by, and I'm also trying to go more plant, vegan, animal cruelty. Uh, I'm trying to find really good lines. I will not use them just because they are. They have to be good and some of them are not. And you all, we all know this, okay? so. I bought this and this is the raw sugar sugar scrub and this is in the pineapple, macai, berry and coconut and it exfoliates, repairs and replenishes. And uh, I can't, let me see what it smells like. Ooh, it smells kind of nice, my friends. Let's see. It's really uh, packaged well. And again, this was at Target. Oh, it smells nice. Ooh, the pineapple is really, you can really smell it. That's nice. And I like the container. I really do. I thought it was kind of pretty. It's very uh, organic looking and very um, uh, botanical looking, you know. It's the bamboo lid. I like that. Small things, my friends. Okay, so then they had the raw sugar healing power, the ultra lush 
hair mask. And I thought, well, I'm going to give that a try. And this is the avocado banana oil, coconut milk, and honey. Let's see what it smells. I have very bad, I can't get a lot of jars open and my Louis not here. So I can't open this one. It's on too tight. I have a serious, serious, serious issue going on with my elbow. They gave me a shot. I have carpal tunnel that I have to have surgery on in my right hand. I'm right-handed. And, um, he gave me a shot in it, which I'm not really fond of those things, but he gave me a shot and told me it would probably give me six months more before I had to have surgery because I don't want to do it in the summer. So I'm probably going to do it in the beginning of winter because I'm less active with the dogs in the winter than I am in the summer. And, um, you know, I, I don't, I just don't think it's fair to limit them. So I've been wearing a brace. I don't have it on in the video because it's very ugly. But I do wear a brace, especially to sleep with. And I'm also, I have a terrible uh, golfer's elbow. It's so painful. It truly is. But he gave me a shot. Now, let me tell you, my friends, I have a very high tolerance for pain. He gave me the shot and the rest I didn't even know he, it was in and out. He said, okay, that one's done. And I was like, really? Oh, I didn't even know you were in there, you know? And then he stuck the needle in the elbow. And he had to go in through this part of the elbow not the top part. And when he did it, I, I went, oh, he goes, yes, unfortunately the elbow is a little more painful. He said, and I have to dig around in areas to inject it. I thought he was going to have to get the breathing salts out. And I, I thought I was going to pass out. I was like doing, it was like I was having a baby. I was, <laughs> I was doing the breathing method. <laughs> it was awful. But anyway, so I can't get the top off that jar. All right, so just bear with me. All right, for my whites, I bought a bunch of the Style Edit. I wear the lightest brown, medium blonde. This really works. So instead of cutting my hair super short, I'll just keep spritzing until I decide what I'm going to do because I, I'm, I can tell you this right up front. I am never, ever going to cut my hair because of what society says or what another woman says is classy or anything. My hair is my hair and it is healthy and that is all there is to it. I will not even cut it off to go white because I look best in long hair. Even though some of you think, oh, you should cut your hair in a bob. I've had my hair short and I've been miserable and unhappy with it. I love having long hair because I can style it. So those of you who love your long hair, do not let society tell you that you have to cut your hair. You, you should, if you're going to wear your hair long, make it the healthiest you can. Don't walk around with a rat nest because then you're going to age yourself. But having long hair does not necessarily age you. All right, my friends. So there you go. So style edit if you want to go silver. <laughs> but again, I'm not sure where I'm going with that. I also uh, bought some Lanza Healing Strength Neum Plant Silk Serum, my most favorite oil on dry hair. Uh, I also love the Lanza Healing Moisture Noni Free fruit leave-in conditioner. I've been using it for years. It used to be in an aqua teal uh, bottle. It's now in a pretty blue container, but I love it. I usually buy it by the large bottles and pour it in, but um, it just went with a small one this time. And then Lanza, Lanza has something new, which I'm going to give a try. It is with their keratin healing oil line, and they have what's called bounce up spray and it is supposed to reduce your dry time. It has thermal protection and it eliminates snags and it's supposed to give you great volume. But then they also have your smooth down spray, which is to make your hair flatter if you want to wear it straighter and, you know, maybe help with the frizz a little bit. It gives you a nice sleek look. So I am going to give that a try. And I bought the set because you get the oil for free. Now this was at the professional store. I'm not sure. Uh, if this set will be offered in anything, but this is what the bottles look like. This is the bounce up and then this is the smooth down. So they're just the dark brown bottles. And of course I will try them and let you know how they work because a lot of these products that I try, I buy, I don't like them. And, um, I usually give them away. I'm not, I'm just not a product girl on the hair. I'm not someone who really likes to put a lot of gunk in my hair. I like it feeling 
clean. Okay, so now these things are going to make absolutely no sense. Maybe some of you will figure it out. They'll make no sense to you why I bought them. And but I really am still gathering things, so I don't want to talk about it too much. But this is exfoliating mitt, and it's very much like the um, Foreo that I have. And I thought, oh, I'm going to get that. And it has little nodules on one side, and then it has the uh, finer side for scrubbing and massaging. So I bought that. This was and at the Bed Bath & Beyond that uh, has now has this beautiful health and beauty section. So I got that. And then I bought this, which is this flawless dermaplane, which is uh, new as seen on TV and I thought okay because I've used the twinkle razor and you now know that I have the derma flash which I love so I thought I'm going to give this a try because it's a facial exfoliator and hair remover so I'm going to let you know how they work and then I also bought I saw this and this is a frisbee gone too chic hot oil treatment and um, this reminds me of the VO5 when I was younger. You used to buy the uh, package and you put the oil in the hot water and it would melt and you would massage it through your hair. I used to go through tons of those. So I thought I would try the Frisbee Gone, but I'm going to take this to Florida with me because Florida is where I really have a frizz problem. And uh, we leave for Florida on Thursday. I probably am already in Florida. This is our last time going, but I'm probably already there by the time you see this video. So then, because in my drugstore video, I absolutely loved these Milani blushes. I bought the two and the three, and the two is the bronze. Let me see what that says. Let me get my zoom lens, ladies. Hang on. Um, this is the, uh, it's called Bronze Burst. It's, uh, I haven't even broken the seal on them, but it is really just a very pretty bronzy color. These are very sheer and they have the slightest satin finish to them, which I think is really nice for an aging skin. And then of course, I told you all I was going back and I was going to get the coral. So I got the coral beam. So now I have all three of them. I think there may be one that's a little more on the purple side, which I didn't get, but I have all of those that I wanted. And because I love the Lumi by L'Oreal Glotion, uh, I bought another tube in 903. I love this. I put it on every single day over my primer before my foundation. I love it. Absolutely love it. So I got another tube of that. And then I saw this product, which is new by Yes to Coconut. And it's their Coconut Oil Cleansing Balm. I'm going to give that a try. It comes with a a sponge that's also going to be part of the upcoming video that I'm putting together. And then I also bought their Yes to Carrot Ultra Hydrating Cream Cleanser. I'm a little disappointed though. I, I used to use the, uh, they had a tube. And if any of you have seen it at a certain store, please tell me because I can't find it in my area. But it was a thinner, taller tube and it was a cleansing balm. Now this may have replaced it. I have to see what this looks like. I haven't even opened it up, but I loved, it was their melting cleanser. I think it was called the coconut melting cleanser. I love it. I have the, I have the last tube I have is down in Florida, which I will ship home here, but, um, really loved it, but I'll try their cleansing cream cleanser. All right. So then, you know, I'm not a white girl, but this is for an upcoming video. I'm getting you all excited, aren't I? And this is new by Burt's Bees. And this is the Micellar Cleansing Towelettes. So I got a pack of those and um, you will all know how I feel about them soon. Okay, so now this, you've heard me talk about the doodles and how they love to get dirty and how they stink. They really stink a lot. I have to bathe them all the time. We're actually, we ordered one from Chewy.com um, and it came and it was way too small, but we ordered a portable bathtub. We're actually considering in my laundry room, putting a pet station in there because, um, right now I take them up into the shower and it's just too hard for me because my back bothers me because I'm bending over and everything. So, because I have to wash them sometimes a couple times a week, they are dirty, dirty, dirty girls and they smell. Did I mention that they stink? 
because they do. And I take them in my car with me, my truck. I take them everywhere with me. So I bought one of these and it's the, it's by Home Edix and it's called the Elia. And it's a car, uh, car aroma diffuser. And I haven't even opened it or looked at it yet. But it's just one that you plug into the cigarette lighter and you put uh, essential oil on it and it will go through your car. So I'm going to use the purification by Young Living Oils and hopefully it'll help some of that stink. Because they are in crates, I don't let them run loose in the truck. They would eat my truck. Harley would eat my truck. Uh, so I have crates for them and there's no blankets because Harley would eat the blanket. So they're just in their crates and the stink of them stays. The crates are plastic so there's no cloth or anything collecting their stink. Okay, did I mention they stink? <laughs> I'm super sensitive to scent. All right, so then I saw this. I actually bought a tube of this for Louie and he likes it. So then I saw the powder at Bed Bath & Beyond and I thought, okay, I'm gonna give that a try. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to use it because of the buttons on my teeth with my Invisalign, which is going really well. My teeth are already straightening and I have less jaw pain already. Um, I, so I'm really looking forward to a year. I hate them. I hate, I like them when I first put them in, they're nice and tight, but as the week goes on, they stop working after your two week of wearing it, they stop working. So they're kind of loose because your teeth is moved as much as they, they're not loose, but they just feel old and gross in my mouth. So I can't wait Wednesday. Uh, I, every second Wednesday I get a new tray to pop in and oh, I'm just, I love it. Two trays a month I get. All right, so uh, I, I, end, I, I, I got off on a tangent there about my Invisalign. But I'm going to see, and it's called the Miracle Teeth Whitener, and it's the, um, the charcoal, activated charcoal, and this one has coconut in it. So uh, it whitens without bleach and peroxide because I can't use any of those stuff, th those kind of lightening agents because they, my teeth are so sensitive. So I thought I would give this a try. Louie's been using the toothpaste and he really likes it. So maybe I'll do a before and after. Although I really don't have yellow teeth because I don't drink a lot of things that, and I, or eat a lot of things actually that stain the teeth. Anyway, last right. few items. I bought some pink nail polish for my toes and for perhaps for my fingers. I love nail polish on my nails, but until my nails are healthy, I will not put anything on them. So that's why you see me in videos without nail polish. I am a nail polish girl, I love it. But my toes are always polished. Okay, so I bought four new colors. One is by um, Essie, and the other are the OPI, the Infinite Shine line. These are so Joelle, she would love all of these colors. I probably sent them to her already. I think I sent her every single pink they make in this line. All right, so this one is Cha-Ching Cherry, and it does have a little bit of a satin finish to it, very pretty. And then, and I'm mostly a cream wearer. I don't wear a lot of satin finish. And then this one is Running with the Infinite Crowd. And it's just a really pretty pink. And then the other one is more of a, it's a lighter pink and it's called Defy Explanation. Like it. And then the Essie one is called Bee Cherry. And it's just a cherry pink, all right? So that's it for my haul. And when the Milani stuff comes in, I'll do a very short haul, all right? But for now, let me know if you have purchased any of these items. Have you tried them? What are your thoughts? I love hearing from you. You know I do. Uh, until then, until the next time, I'll say, because uh, I'm more regular now, because I'm back to good health. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're living life. Go out in the world and be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. Don't forget to be lovable. I love you all. Bisous.